I'm inside it. How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. The... <sighs> good morning, or good evening. <laughs> it's it's good. a noon. It's a morning. It's Good Friday, March something. Twenty. Oh, ah, uh, such confidence. March 29th. This is a little Friday. It's also Good Friday. And that's like a little thing. I'm just going to talk a little bit about Good Friday, I think, somewhat. Maybe some vlogging news. Be quick. But mostly about Good Friday because it's, um, well, it's a Bible thing. And also, it's, uh, this is the day, uh, where. They already capture. They already captured Jesus at that Garden of Gethsemane, and all of that Last Supper and Garden of Gethsemane stuff was yesterday, Thursday. That's why Holy Thursday. It's like the Last Supper day, and so he's captured on the Thursday, and he's taken into the. And it's night already, so they're trying to assemble the Sadistes and the Sanhedrins and and they're high priest Jewish temple people and they're kind of like assembling in the bank of night kind of a clandestine hurry let's get this over with type of thing and they scuttle them off to well we don't we our loss is thou shalt not kill so they can't execute him, which is exactly what they want to have happen. So they're pushing him off on the Roman uh, governor or Pontius preset Pilate. You see, he was uh, over Judea. You know this if you know basic Christianity and stuff. Any Bible school in Sunday school? Listen to me. Hello. Uh, yeah, listen to you. And uh, so he's before Pilate and condemned pretty lickety the split through the night because he's against the god emperor of Dune. No, I mean the Roman emperor. The Roman emperor had a cult of worshiping the Roman emperor as a god too. So it's like, it's like Pharaoh style. You know, uh, with the Roman Emperor. So it's not just like he's the king. You're challenging the kingship or the ruler. It's also the worship part. So, but with the Romans, they didn't care what the hell you believe. It's like, just pay your taxes and, yeah, stay in line. Don't make a freaking riot. That's what the Romans were all about. But the temple priests didn't want Jesus in his following of people to usurp their Gun. power over the main temple of Jerusalem <laughs> which he did his first the first part of the week he comes into Jerusalem he kicks over the money changing tables and that was like their revenue source so he was already uh, a marked a man with a target on his back throughout the whole week of the festival see like in Jerusalem the Passover was a week-long festival and many people made pilgrimages so the city of Jerusalem was stuffed and it was already like screw the occupying Romans so it was very unrest area uh, so you know they had eyes on getting rid of Jesus right off the bat so they finally got into his inner circle. They got huh. one of the people and betrayed, and there he is. Because Jesus is a common name, and Jesus, you, you, you wouldn't really be able to pick him out of a crowd unless you kind of knew him, in a sense. Some people say, ooh, 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 Why? aura. But 
why. But they had to have someone point him out. So he's pointed out, he's brought before the Sanhedrin, he brought before the pilot, and then he's like, hey, send him back. It's not our law, it's not our jurisdiction. And then they send him back to pilot, saying he's against Rome. And they were so hell-bent to have this guy ousted that, you know, they tried, tried, and even whipped him. Nearly to You could die from one of those whippings. But they whipped him, and it's like, no, 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 you gotta all the way kill him. So, in the Good Friday day, is the all that stuff where he drags the cross. Can you hear him? No. <laughs> He drags the cross a whole mile after being whipped. So this is... See, the Romans were experts on torture and killing. And they knew how to do it the most slowly and most painful way possible. The Romans just knew... Because they did it all the time. They were, the Romans were bad. <laughs> oh my God. It's like... It's like <laughs> I used to think, oh, look, you see those movies. Oh, Rome, oh, no. What if you lived in another time? Wouldn't it be cool to be into the ro uh, Rome? No. <laughs> you wouldn't want to live there in those times. Oh, you wouldn't want... Oh. But, uh, but, yeah, Roman citizens couldn't be crucified, but commoners and stuff like rabble rabble, yeah, they can. And it was a public display, make example of execution, help. so it was help. Okay, and it was bad. Now, like, uh, the crucifixion of Jesus is... <laughs> Thumbnail. The crucifixion of Jesus is actually... It's just like the bedrock of Christianity. Without the crucifixion where Jesus dies all the way dead, because some people say he didn't even die, but yeah, he died. He died, died dead. All the way dead for us, okay, our sins. But he died for us, and then three days later, he rose or was raised from the dead by God. The resurrection. Now, without that, that's Christianity, in the sense. Without that foundation, the Paschal Mysteries. Without that foundation. There is no Christianity. That is Christianity. So this is kind of like a solemn, reverent day. They don't even hold mass on this day in, in, in Catholic Church mass. They don't. They just put a black cloth over the crucifix. So I get you. You just suck like out of reverence, it's like. Uh, but he had to carry the cross. Actually, they they just carried the. This is the Latin cross with the upright and the stipe and the pentabellum or whatever it is. The cross beam. So most likely though, he died on a tau cross. I mean, that's what their their historians are trying to figure out what so it would be like this. It just had a top piece. You know, like that. And you just get the guy and hoist him up there. And not everybody was nailed. No. They did that. They, they would do that, but not everybody was nailed, you know? I mean, nails, this is the end of the time frame. It's the end of the Bronze Age and the beginning of the Iron Age. So they're still using bronze, but they're just starting to use iron. So it kind of overlaps at the beginning of the Iron Age. So Rome was very into, yeah, the iron. And it was not that common. It was pretty rare. So, you know, his, his, <laughs> I, have an, I have an old iron Roman nail and I can't find it. <laughs> I'm gonna show that. But anyways, here's a steel one. Steel's modern. But, if, but this is like, I don't know, nine inches, something, 10 inch nail. This is a nine inch nail, 10 inch nail. And that's too long. The, the the crucifixion nails are probably about four or five inches, something like that. Please go. But they didn't leave the nails in. I mean, they did, they would you know reuse the nails. 
They build structures and they would use nails and sorry. They take the structures down and they'll they'll go by and take the nails and say this and iron was pretty precious, you know. But uh yeah, the the thing is, um Jesus died. And since Jesus was the son of God, aka God, they killed God. It's theocide. And that's all the time we have. That's it. all the time we have. The bells of St. Mary are saying, you're, you're gonna, gonna, gonna get, get, it get it now. now. But the thing is, it's, it's, it's a pretty good deal for Christianity because it's the, since Jesus died, uh, and if you believe on him, then he's, you know, able to forgive and purify your sins for basically entering God's kingdom, aka heaven. So basically, it's a free ticket to heaven. That's the good news. <laughs> so a lot of other um, major competing religions will say, he didn't die. No, it was faked. And everyone's like, oh, it was faked. No, he died. He died. There was a historical Jesus. That's for dang sure. Historical Jesus, for sure. And he definitely died. And how he died was probably... See, the crucifixion thing is, it's a suffocation. If, if you go up there, you can't exhale because it's all stretched out it's like you can't exhale so you can't get you can't inhale because you can't exhale so eventually it's a asphyxiation because you can't get rid of the carbon dioxide it's like you, are you a friend are you a friend i hope so <laughs> and the uh, um the uh um they, they really figure though uh he died of a bruised heart which is aptly profound poetic kind of because as he's carrying that cross beam uh, probably tied at that point carrying it one mile to the outside the walls because it's unsanitary you don't do that in indoors in some sense ah uh, he fell three times so he fell down whip him keep going so one time they, f and he's bruised, you know. So one time he fell, he probably fell flat on his face and on his chest. On his chest, which would have a bruising of the heart. Much about the same impact as if you're not wearing your seatbelt and you crash in a car and the steering column jams in your chest. See, people have yeah doctors that's about the same uh, uh power of impact that it would so he fell and bruised on his chest now that means like the heart's still beating but it's weak in one spot and it kind of develops a, a bubble aneurysm that eventually goes Poop. so he dies of a broken bruised heart eventually because he couldn't have been suffocating because he says stuff at the very end and that's where we're going to go to a little read from... Oh, I just, I just took out the marker. Oh, my gosh. Uh, a little read. Okay. It's here. Somewhere. Okay, here we go. A, 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 a little... A little read. Just do this, please. This is Luke... Um, Luke uh, 23, 23 to 44, the death of Jesus. It was now about noon. I'm not sure. And the darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, while the sun's light failed. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two. That's like in the Holy of Holies, there's big thick curtain that was just ripped apart. Let's see. Ark of the Covenant was in there. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, mm -hmm, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly, this man was innocent. Hog. And when all the crowds who had gathered there for this spectacle saw what had taken place, 
they returned home, beating their breasts. But all of his acquaintances, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance watching these things. So yeah, he, 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 and then Longinus, uh, a Roman. I want to stay. They would break the legs of the crucified uh, victims or subjects uh, because sometimes it could take like days because it's such a long, prolonged thing, and they would just break the legs and then uh, can't breathe at all. So they'd go out and break the legs. This guy's good because they had to make sure everyone's dead. There was a Roman soldier whose job it was to make sure people were dead and that's exact, exactly that there's like a you know accountant of death in a sense and uh they got to Jesus and it was like nah he's dead they didn't break his bones prophecy so they didn't break his legs but they went oh just, just make sure so Longinus they say his name is the Roman Took a spear and speared him, and it went right across the chest and poked his heart, which was bruised. I remember. So it had all this, uh, the pericardial sac was filled with, you know, uh, 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 you know, it's like blood and water, but it wasn't really water. It was just like, it was all uh, inflamed with, um, you know, it's like pneumonia of the lungs, but it's like in heart sac. And poke that and comes out blood and then water. And, it's, and, all that. and then they took them down before nightfall and quickly buried them in a fresh tomb that apparently was provided by uh, uh, Joseph of Arimathea. Now they have that one. They think that one's pretty accurate. But really? They got him in the tomb before nightfall real fast. I mean, they had to just sort of head cloth, wrap them in the big long blanket, maybe tie them up, stick them in the tomb. And then they usually would let the bones, let, let the body rot until bones, and then they put the bones in the ostrich. So they put them in the tomb, and then the resurrection on the third day. Now, all this is kind of interesting because of... Uh, there's two Sabbaths. One, the Sabbath of the end of the week, and two, the Sabbath of Passover. So there was a double Sabbath going on at the same time. So these, you know, in the ground at Friday, outside, a resurrection Sunday morning, it all has a calendar. It has a hard to grasp the calendar. That's why some people, uh, Seventh day Adventist, Julie. and stuff like that. But, yeah. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're good with, What uh, is your name? Uh, what is your name? I don't know. I must do a positive thing. Oh, God, I'm just a sinner. Have mercy. Uh, let's, let's look, maybe, maybe a little bit of paper chat. Okay, paper chat. Deals abound in tourism because tourism's still low. They're phasing out Lahaina, vacation rentals anything in the sports oh yeah the big Voss man this guy who's a really good player on the UH volleyball team is a senior and he's graduating so we will be there on the match on Saturday so <laughs> rainbow lost one guy to uh, injury and one the players can have, oh gosh oh help us mm. well, back in the day back in the day 1982 shoppers made their purchases and, and the stores in Kauai just opened. Look, back in the day, it was Grove Market, Kukui Grove. Uh, okay. Go to a cartoon. The election's rigged. Trump won. Yada, yada, yada. Now, <clears throat> can I get paid in cash instead of gold sneakers and Bibles? She's interviewing for You've Been Fired Before You're Hired. Ronna McDaniel's new gig. He needs a new lawyer. He's, he's going to pay her in uh, those. <laughs> Go spray painted one of these spray painted sneakers and Bibles. Oh, help me. Yeah, he's. Gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, I gotta get. 
Oh, help me. Oh, let's do one of these. I don't like it. It's what we want. Okay. Elders on benefits should fear a Trump presidency. Should Donald Trump be elected president, America's elders will lose their social security benefits and entitlements. Elders like me, an 82 year old, depend on social security as our only source of income. Take it away and we'll probably not be able to survive. Children and grandchildren whose relatives receive these benefits must vote for Biden. Think of the recipients' futures and what's needed to continue their lives. I'm standing up for all elders. Voters have until this November 4th, 5th, 5th, to decide. We don't want to be thrown under the bus and forgotten as the rider who said it all. Not all of us just follow the party line. We can vote intelligently. I agree. Snap Democratic hold by finding viable candidates. Cite article March 13th. John, te ala, why and I? Thank you, John. Uh, uh, that would be, to me, what's known as self-evident. <laughs> Anyways, just having a little bit of a somber Friday. It's good because Jesus' mission was to do that. You know? And his mission couldn't be fulfilled if he wasn't killed all the way. Suffered and died. Prophecy. God's will. But then there's Easter. Okay. Aloha. Aloha. It's actually not that dark. But Aloha. It, it's a good thing. It's a good Friday. Have a great day. Aloha to you. Please.